Alright, I promise I'll eventually get better at these intros, but yeah, guess who forgot again to make an intro? That's right, it's me! I forgot again! <laughs> so here we are, doing an intro. I might actually keep this kind of like where I'm mining in the cave in the future, going forward. Because like, if you think about it, I will eventually catch up. I think I have maybe one, two more episodes before I'm like fully caught up to where I am here. And then I can just pick up with mining in the cave. That would be cool. <laughs> That'd be cool, besides the fact that it does kind of spoil a couple things. Like the fact that this is a cave, and that I have netherite tools, which actually we're getting to in this episode. Alright gamers, sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, make sure to hit that like button, smash the sub button, drop a comment down below, and let me know what you're thinking of the series, because I am having so much fun. <laughs> like I am actually having so much fun. I'm very happy I started this. I'm very happy that all the creators are joining up with this. I am just so happy to see where this is going. And I cannot wait to see the future with this entire series. And server, actually. And server, actually. It is kind of weird because, actually, believe it or not, the series is now starting to get caught up to where the end game is. So you're going to start seeing more and more creators. And I know a couple of them I've been requested to make content with in the past, so the fact that they're on here now is very important. Very cool, very cool. Alright gamers, sit back, enjoy your popcorn, enjoy this video. I don't think I have anything else to say, no, I'm good. Oh, take part in the YouTube polls, as they will help dictate the server's future, and obviously help the algorithm out, because you know... Who are we, the people, without an algorithm? I don't know. I'm glad it exists. I could not imagine a life without an algorithm. <laughs> Alright gamers, enjoy. Remember when I said I would show you if I blew myself up? Well... Kinda blew myself up. <laughs> I wasn't recording because I was talking to another content creator that might be coming on the server. You know, multitasking, getting two done at once. I really hope there wasn't lava there. And that's officially my 40th death. Okay, let's see if I can go back and get my stuff. Uh, uh, that's gonna be my luck. Get great stuff, end up dying. <laughs> it was only a matter of time. I should have stayed with the diamond gear. I lost like seven hearts. Which is probably the most I've like actually taken a hit there. So I'm curious to see what happens there. Okay, so it looks like I just lost a bunch of beds. <laughs> that I'm okay with. At the end of the day, that I'm okay with. Just... Oh, did I lose my pick? No! No! Okay. Okay, alright. I have another pick. Man. This is where I tried it. I ended up going this side here. Manually breaking some blocks. Ah, that's not where I came from. Where'd I come from? There's like five or six different tunnels down here. I don't know where I came from. I, I don't have a pick to get out of here. I'm gonna actually have to find my way out. This stinks. <laughs> I'm gonna need to figure a better strategy to get a bunch of netherite, especially if that is my plan. <sighs> I can't believe it. Cannot believe it. I'm pretty sure I have another exact copy of that pick. Dang, yep, okay. Wait, is it here? How, how do I get out of here? I, I don't know. Alright, well, I got 11 food and then I'm dead, right? Dino was trying to get me and he died a couple times, so I wanted to replace it. I only feel like it's fair to do that. <laughs> I can't believe I lost one of the best uh, picks. I'm happy it wasn't the weapon or the bow or anything. Like that. I 
I guess I guess the next piece is definitely gonna be a pick since I lost that to literally lava. Well, fire, but I didn't think diamond stuff burn up in fire. <laughs> Everyone sees my cows and they're like, what are you doing? I'm not messing around. As I miss three- <laughs> I'm not messing around proceeds to miss everything. Okay, I have enough netherite for sure to make the pick. I should have just done that to begin with. This is literally my worst nightmare. I can't believe I lost an efficiency five on breaking mending three working pick. It was such a good pick. Gone forever. <sighs> write that down, historians. Write that down. I'm gonna give Dino his stuff and go back in. It looks like the Cat Rebellion has gained another supporter. Art not available. I don't know where I'm taking the storyline, but things are happening in the story. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We have four after we were rescued. Obviously, I'm gonna put... That's, that's the wrong pick. Right there. Okay, cool. Cool. Great. And I'm in this clip, not episode. <laughs> this is still episode three. All right, here we go. So we're obviously gonna do the pick, right? All right, I don't want to lose another one of these bad boys. I don't know what it does to the pick, but we obviously want it. I'm gonna go ahead and slap the chest piece, obviously. And then I think I have enough to finish this first set here. I 100% do. <laughs> Look at this. This is the best set of gear here in the game. Alright, so I have another set of gear to do. And... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call that there once I get that. I definitely want to have the backup set going. I'm okay with having this pick and leaving it at that for right now. It seems fair enough. It seems fair enough. I'll be back when I got everything to finish it up. Okay, so, okay, so just to catch everyone up, it's still going. There's obviously some lore here, and it's great. It says the loser who only has one. So I, I responded back with, you wish to be ruled by the creature of nine lives, nine wasted lives. It says the loser who only has one, immortality doesn't die. Ah, hubris. Hubris implies... Excessive self confidence. The issue is it's not excessive. Nobody can strike, strike fear into my heart. All that have tried, have failed. Stupid, that, no, that weak alliance. <laughs> it's not like you can do anything about it. There we go. I always like putting that afterwards, playing up my character, you know, I'm not actually that evil. It's kind of scary how I can become that evil quite quickly, though. <laughs> hey, look at me. I'm so humble. Sounds fake, but okay. <laughs> you good, Bull. Do you remember earlier how we were talking trash with art? Art not available? How cats... Was she watching me? <laughs> I might have been pulling up the equipment and she might have been there watching me. Anyways, the point is... We were talking, and she was talking about getting retribution and joining the Cat Alliance. So, just because I'm trying to, you know, stir up some issues, I created a great name tag. Dead cats are good cats. 
Obviously only in game. Please, <laughs> please keep this in mind. I'm not talking about real life. Real life, I'd never hurt a cat ever. But in the game, she has a cat. And she said that earlier. And I'm going to go up there, sweep in, and name tag it. You ready? She's right there. We're going to have to be quick. I don't know if she noticed. Oh, let's just swoop on in here. Let's see if she noticed. <laughs> All right, now because I feel bad, I'm going to go get a name tag and give it to her. <laughs> I got to clean up the prank too, right? Oh, what do you mean jokes on me? All cats are good cats. Wait, how 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 is that a joke on me? I don't understand. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know. Team Dog. I guess that's now. I guess Team Dog is a subsidiary of Team <laughs> of Team Doom Squad. <laughs> So I tried to be nice. I said, thank you for the clip. I will bring you a name tag. What do you want the cat to be called? I'm going to name him Dog. But, hold on. But, but, but. That's against the rules. <laughs> I'm over here trying to be nice. And it's like, yeah, actually. Why is there someone from the Cat Rebellion in my base? No, I'm not taking a name tag. I was going to be nice. I've changed my mind. I'm just going to be evil. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> So I do want to quickly include here, the Canadian Dino is now a part of okay, cool. so doorway the server. Here. Streaming once a week, I think, for right oh, now. In the future, he plans to get to two times a week, which is all really good, really good. But in the background of this, you can actually see a cat alliance being formed. More people are joining it, which means it's currently me versus an army. And shabam. I am the wolf. Have has no one figured yeah, out this war yet? Like, this. like my logo is a wolf. Yeah, they are. Okay. Like, we obviously it's know I'm there. Team Dog, Team it's Wolf. For now, just in case. Is the starter base that me and my Hello, friend my were in brethren. and left a sign that said vacant. How many eggs do I have? I'm sneaking up. You, I'm sneaking up on him. I'm gonna scare the living shit out of him. Way over his. Oh, I have. Ooh. 
Yeah, that's the perfect amount. Okay, where is he? He's right, right around. It's time. Oh, he's over here. He's up the hill. Oh, okay. he's in the chicken pen. Okay, oh. I'm gonna wait for a second. I I have no place to sneak up on him with the chicken yeah, bar. Yeah, I, I already got uh, <laughs> back to my chest. There's, there's not it. a single um single piece of wood here. Like I'm hiding behind trees. <laughs> How about you, fridge? How has he not seen me? Dude, if you're not looking for someone, <laughs> I'm behind the tree that he's staring at on stream right now. Yeah, dude, if you're not looking for something, control. it's like, it's hard to see. I'm trying to get up, like, right close to him. I'm just gonna let, yeah, like, the rockets off. Nice cool. You should shoot straight in the air. Yeah, I'm gonna, Like I'm your crossbow nice if you have them. I, I do. I also have a bow, but it's, it's they're both hooked with fireworks. The sun, uh, sets. Okay, get behind the house, get behind the house, get behind the house. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. I have plenty of iron. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, damage, what the hell, dude? <laughs> thing, because there was actually three streams going on tonight, and I really just wanted to stay there and view them all and look at them all. So I was doing a lot of grinding off stream and off recording here, so let's go over everything to start out. We, well, <laughs> to start out, I need to clean up my inner chest. To start out, we finished our netherite. Ah, uh, hold on. Let's cook that. I have gold somewhere, there we go. Get the gold. We'll cook that. I did try this out. This is awesome. <laughs> I snuck up behind someone, and I'll see if I can get the clip. Actually, the clip was probably already included in here, thinking about it. But I did finish off the nether, right? How many deaths am I? I'm still at 40, actually. Which is shocking for all that I've done. <laughs> it's Armor is so nice, okay? Never think you're too good for Minecraft armor. Never. Never think it. Like, it's, it's the best thing in the game. I promise. Spend the time. Get fully enchanted. You'll be thanking me later. Everyone's like, we know this. We play Minecraft. Okay. Let's get the sword. And go do that real quick. But no, it's been really cool to see everyone and talk to everyone. Next couple episodes should be great. Shrimp is still up here. Shrimp is now working on my villagers. To a degree. It's nice to see. Alright, so Doom Squad kill. There we go. Now I'm done. Okay. There we go. I almost felt bad. <laughs> okay, so there's named cats up here, so I can't just come in and swing. Sounds good. I will have to keep that in mind. I've been just coming in and swinging quite a lot. Alright, so netherite gear is fully complete. Shrimp has now moved in, kind of. Shrimp's working on villagers. That's all I know. That's all I know. <laughs> Which I don't really care. Uh, definitely up to be used by people. I'm not really too concerned about any of that. I'm more interested in some other things. Alright, so let's look at everything else I did. I limited the cows. Uh, I needed food. Uh, I, was, I was too busy to do that back. Uh, so we finished the gear, which was the main thing we wanted to work on, but then we've also started working on our diabolical plan. And I'm putting this in, because by the time that it comes out, I will have them all. So I've started going, I, I've taken a screenshot, here let me show it, of, and there's no rules against this right now, I checked with everyone, there's been a couple people that have used this for certain things, um, which, I mean, if they're going to use it, we're evil, we're going to use it. So this is a current map of the end where the strongholds are, or in ships, uh, in cities with ships. And I'm currently going through and I'm cleaning them out. 
And the reason why this is, is because if people have to go too far for an elytra, I'm going to be able to get it. It's going to be one of the few resources on the server I'm going to be able to have a monopoly in. I think dragon heads might also be one of the few things in the servers I can have a monopoly in. Uh-oh, I might have to go make that right. Let me finish this up. Um... So, I of course collect everything when I'm in there because some of this can be sold or used. I really wish I would have gone to the end and done that before I worked on my gear because I would have a lot more diamonds. I also grinded a bit in the nether because I'm going to stream tomorrow. And, well, there's some things I want to do with some nether quartz. And all this is actually from the end here. So our diamond supply is going back up a little bit. Obviously, I'd like that to climb a bit more, and then I'd like the diamond ore to continue to climb itself. Well, Cryptic died out in the end today. I don't know what Cryptic was up to. I'm hoping it wasn't looking for... more elytras, because they want to sell elytras. That's what I'm hoping it's not. If it is, that's fine. I'll beat him to it. And he must have died with them all. But... But, 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 what I will say... What I will say... Is I felt bad, because for five hours, Cryptic was getting all his stuff back. Do I not have stuff for a sign? Hold on, let me get a sign. So I felt pretty bad about that, so I did want to give him one. The goal is, the hope is, if I give him one, he won't go out and make a trip. And because he won't go out and make a trip, it'll give me more time to get all the materials. That way I can loot as many more as possible. That way I can try to form the monopoly on owning elytras. Because I currently have it locked down to the people that have them. And obviously, Cryptic, we were chatting, he obviously does not have... One right now, he's completely out of an elytras. One of the trade organizations has three plus two for backups, and then I have mine. And that's all the people right now with an elytras. With elytras. So, here, let's put this right in front of them. Things have been changing around spawn. Quite a lot, actually. I'm gonna have to see who's been on. Who's been on? Okay, so something's going on over here for sure. Mm. What? Enchanted golden app? What? Oh, dang. I wonder whose that is. The, so the blade was removed over here. I think someone wanted the redstone and iron. Interesting. I'll have to see who did that. Something- okay, so someone's going- doing stuff over here, too. There's a lot of things happening. It's really cool to see in between when everyone's on and when I'm on and stuff like that. It's really, really, really cool. Okay, so... I did my stream on Saturday. I want to update everyone. Stream on Saturday happened. We worked on this. Well, we started this. <laughs> it's the Fountain of Life. And the Fountain of Life, I don't know if I've said it here. But it's a cool RP thing that I want to do. Well, I find it cool, so... You know, it's, it's cool. It's a storyline I want to tell on the server. It's a way, because it is a whitelisted server, it's going to be a way that we can have other people join the server and continue in the server. So what's going to happen with this is, once we hit 30 people active members on the community playing on this server, to be whitelisted after that, you have to be recruited. Either by me or by someone else or whatever the deal is. And when that recruit happens... There's going to be a price you pay to the Fountain of Life, and it's going to determine... And the price is going to be determined on how far we are along in the season. Like, right now, it might just be, like, two diamond blocks, you know? 
pretty cheap, something everyone has, you know, once everyone has a chest full of diamonds, though, you know, it's, it's going to be like 64 diamond blocks to bring someone on, so the price is going to increase as the wealth of the server increases, and that's going to be something that's manually done, obviously. Manually done, but the whole idea is it's this massive fountain of life here in the middle of spawn town. What you do is you run over and you throw some diamonds in it and or whatever the material is, whatever the price may be, to bring someone onto the server. So it's the fountain of life because, you know, there's no lives in Minecraft. It is kind of hard. Well, it's a little interesting to say the least when that's done and thought about for sure. It's, it's definitely a little bit interesting. So I think that's going to be a really cool situation that we add for everyone to experience and for everyone to see. So in this episode, I just wanted to update everyone on what's going on there. I'm probably just going to make progress on the public things that I do and like pranks and messing with people. For the most part, I'll probably do that on a live stream and then I'll spend a lot of time here building. So let's go ahead and go back to my base and we'll talk about what we're going to be building in episode four because we have our gear now. We're good. Our gear is solid. Our gear is really solid. I'm getting a little bit better at this whole using the elytra thing. So <laughs> that's really good to see. That is really good to see. I'm really happy about that. But it is time for some base building. Is Cryptic still up here? Cryptic has been up here for like... Ow. Okay, let's see if I can make the landing here. Okay, I mean, that's a landing. Uh, he has not moved, has he? Oh, yep, no, he has not moved. He has not moved whatsoever. At least 24 hours now. <laughs> I've thought about pranking him to a degree. I thought about pranking him a little bit, like replacing everything here with glass or something like that. I've thought about it. So, another thing that I've really wanted to do, especially, like, look, he's over here, and he's within spawn range, so mob central down here. So, another thing that I've really wanted to get to and really wanted to work on is I want to torch a decent area, because I'm going to be up here working quite a lot. Cryptic's going to be over there. I think we might have another person that's moved in, or is going to move in somewhere that way a little bit but i really want to like torch a decent amount of stuff here that way our the farms work out better because he's afk at a gunpowder farm right now and the gunpowder farm is look at the mobs <laughs> just <laughs> look at the mobs oh 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 sh all right thank you gamers for watching Episode 5 of Untold Craft. Hopefully everyone's still really enjoying the series because I am enjoying recording it more and more every single day. But yeah, we got a lot done in the episode. Well, by a lot done, I mean we did a lot of pranking. <laughs> we pranked quite a few people in this episode. Well, it wasn't a prank. It was more like we messed with quite a few people in this episode. Next episode, just a little teaser. We're going to be working on the base a little bit more. We're going to be, well, lighting everything up. Like I kind of teased at the end there. Yeah, we had to do a lot of lighting. And let me say, it pays off, and I definitely think it's worth it. But there's a lot of footage of me running around lighting up the forest, so... Next episode, everyone better come buckled in, because it's a wild one. <laughs> I think that and spawn clearing are going to be in the next episode. I know, something that everyone wants to watch. Fully aware of that, fully aware of that. Just in these little intro and outro segments, I'm currently mining everything out the way. I can move the beacon a little bit here. A little bit in a different direction, because I'm pretty much at the end of every single direction here. And there's not too much range I can cover now. So I did want to grab all this. I don't think anyone would take it or steal it, especially when they see stuff like this. But I did just want to grab all this before I move my beacon, just to see where we're at. As we are trying to get back some diamond resources. Because when it comes to diamonds, we're one of the poor individuals on the server currently. There's people with 
I, I think someone already has a stack of diamond blocks, but they did a lot of caving yesterday for their project, so... Yeah, I'm still sitting at zero. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Please make sure to hit that like button. Please make sure to leave a comment down below. And please make sure to wind that fist up, wind it up, wind it up, and punch that sub button. Go take part in the YouTube polls, and I will see everyone in the next episode. Peace!